Cleanliness is not a luxury. It is not a privilege reserved for the few. It is a fundamental human right, as essential as access to clean water and nutritious food. Cleanliness, in its purest form, represents dignity. It signifies respect for oneself and for others. A clean body and a clean environment are not just aesthetically pleasing, they are the foundation for a healthy and productive life. Yet despite its importance, hygiene often remains a taboo topic, shrouded in silence and shame. The link between hygiene and health is undeniable. Simple practices like hand washing can significantly reduce the spread of infectious diseases. Regular bathing and oral hygiene prevent a multitude of health problems. Good hygiene practices contribute to stronger immune systems and overall well-being. Conversely, poor hygiene can lead to skin infections, gastrointestinal issues and respiratory illnesses. These health consequences can impact individuals and strain healthcare systems. Hygiene is not just a personal matter, it has profound social implications. Our personal hygiene habits directly impact those around us. Good hygiene demonstrates respect for the people we interact with daily. It fosters a sense of community and shared responsibility for a clean and healthy environment. On the other hand, poor hygiene can lead to social isolation, bullying and discrimination. These experiences can have lasting psychological effects, impacting self-esteem and mental health. Despite its importance, hygiene often remains a taboo subject. We shy away from discussing bodily functions and hygiene needs. This silence creates a breeding ground for misinformation and shame. Children, especially, may feel embarrassed to ask questions about their bodies and hygiene practices. This lack of open dialogue can have detrimental consequences, perpetuating poor hygiene habits and hindering access to necessary information. Section 5. Bridging the Gap The need for comprehensive hygiene education. Addressing this gap in knowledge requires comprehensive hygiene education. This education must start early, ideally in schools, and continue throughout life. It should encompass a wide range of topics, from basic hand-washing techniques to understanding menstruation and puberty. Comprehensive hygiene education empowers individuals with the knowledge and tools to make informed decisions about their health and well-being. Section 6. Starting young. Planting the seeds of healthy habits. Early childhood is a critical period for establishing healthy hygiene habits, Children are naturally curious and eager to learn. By integrating hygiene education into early childhood curricula, we can instill these habits from a young age. Making hand washing fun, for example, through songs and games, can transform a chore into a positive and ingrained routine. When children understand the why behind hygiene practices, they are more likely to adopt them for life. Section seven, beyond the basics understanding our bodies. Hygiene education must go beyond the basics. As children grow, they need access to accurate and age-appropriate information about their bodies. This includes understanding puberty, menstruation, and reproductive health. Open and honest conversations about these topics can dispel myths and misconceptions. They can also empower young people to manage their hygiene needs with confidence and seek help when needed. Section 8, Leading by Example, the role of parents and educators. Parents and educators play a crucial role in shaping hygiene habits. Children learn by observing the adults in their lives. By modeling good hygiene practices, we demonstrate their importance and normalize these behaviors. Parents and educators should also create a safe and supportive environment for children to ask questions about their bodies and hygiene needs. Open communication fosters trust and encourages healthy habits. Section 9. Breaking down stigma. Open conversations and accessible resources. Breaking down the stigma surrounding hygiene requires open and honest conversations. We must create spaces where people feel comfortable discussing hygiene challenges without fear of judgment. 
Access to affordable and accessible hygiene products is also crucial. This includes menstrual products, soap, clean water and sanitation facilities. When we prioritise hygiene equity, we ensure that everyone has the resources they need to maintain their dignity and well-being. Section 10. A cleaner, healthier future. The transformative power of hygiene education. Investing in hygiene education is an investment in a healthier and more equitable future. When individuals are equipped with the knowledge and resources to manage their hygiene, they are empowered to lead healthier and more productive lives. Improved hygiene reduces the spread of diseases, decreases healthcare costs and fosters stronger communities. By breaking down taboos and prioritising hygiene education, we can create a world where cleanliness is not a privilege, but a right enjoyed by all.